Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Alpharad Friendship Awards 2023. But first, let's talk about how we got here, because this is a weird story. Last summer, I hosted a sold-out event where I had famous YouTubers and streamers play beer pong in front of a live audience, which was pretty damn cool, if I can be honest. And we happened to raise $35,000 for charity. That number's not right. So immediately after this event, I was already planning the sequel, a satiric beauty pageant that would make fun of each and every contestant called Mr. and Miss Multiverse. And I'm sure you're wondering, how does this all tie into giving my friends awards? And well, I had a few friends flying out to support this event that unfortunately got canceled for several reasons. And I'll be honest, it was a bummer, especially because I wore a dress for that trailer and no one seemed to care. But anyways, my friends have already booked their flights. So we just thought it was gonna be a fun week of hanging out, which it was, but if you're familiar with my channel at all, you would know that I never settle for the bare minimum and am constantly trying to push on new ideas. So I dare you to subscribe if you haven't, so you can test that theory and see what I'm already cooking up for the future. <coughs> Alright, that's the show for today. The main Discord server for my friend group has 60 people in it. 12 of those 60 people already live in Los Angeles, including me. So with four other people flying into town, that puts us at 16 out of 60 people. Don't forget this number, by the way. It's important. So with that event getting cancelled and my phenomenal production team suddenly having nothing to do, we decided to put together an award show in just 10 days. And near immediately after deciding to create this event, I sent each and every single person here a Google form and they all nominated each other for several fun categories like best gamer, most clickbaited, most gay, most straight, and best Among Us player. And those are just a few. But what's with this crowd, you might be asking? I thought you said there would only be 16 people in attendance. And well, like most online friend groups, we all met through Among Us. And though we're all close enough, we've never really had a group bonding moment that pulled everyone together until this week. The campaigns. Once voting went live, everything went off the rails. People started campaigning for every category they felt like they had a chance in by revealing things nobody could have gotten out of me personally, even through ancient Chinese forms of torture. Most of these revelations I can't say publicly, but I can show off someone's campaign for most straight being their channel point total for Amaranth. And as the campaigns grew more and more competitive, more and more people started booking last minute flights from all around the world. Would you like to take a guess how high this number went? A whopping 48 out of 60 people in attendance, all through last minute flights and bookings. This was the most fun week I have ever had in my entire life. Nearly every close friend I've ever made was all under the same roof, which yes, was extremely exhausting, but it was so worth it. So many memories were made on this trip, and we even got to go to Super Nintendo World. I initially thought about filming all of this for you guys, but after a few recordings, I ultimately decided that I should just enjoy it and spend that time with my friends as Jacob instead of Alpha Rat. But hey, I finally met Princess Peach and got food poisoning from this bastard named Chef Toad. So after the most tiring week of my life, I spent the night preparing for an even more tiring day and wrote nearly 40 cue cards just so I could wake up bright and early to host an entire award show with a monologue I haven't even rehearsed yet. First one of the night is going to be who among us is the most likely to argue on Twitter. We have Jesus. We have Sunday. Keep in mind, you guys have all nominated for them because Sunday has gone on a Shakespearean rage with anyone who has crossed this path. Dad as heck, who has quite literally been banned from Twitter for arguing. And by that, I mean sending death threats. And even though he could not be here tonight, our last nominee is Josh. That picture speaks for itself, but this one he might be the bravest one here because he has beef with Dream and the millions of stands. The most likely to argue on Twitter, Jesus! Come on up! Uh, I just have to say that I've been working my entire life for this award, and every single moment of every single day online has been preparing me <laughs> to be the most likely to argue on Twitter. 
<laughs> I didn't know if he was going to win, but I feel like we all know he deserves it. That's a flattering award. Probably one of the most flattering we have. Because the second one we have for tonight is who is the sloppiest drunk? <laughs> it was just one drunk. I mean, I'm not going to see Scooch up here. You guys are misremembering everything. And our next nominee is Izzy who seems very into what's going on up there. And then we got Ouija, who's a bit confused, but has the right spirit. And then last but not least, Joe Sniffy. And if you know anything about Joe, this was not the first drink of the night. And our sloppiest drunk 2023 is Izzy. Hello, everyone. I didn't write a speech at all because I was too busy being sloppy drunk last night. I will be sloppy drunk later. I will be beating Jacob again. I was about to say, she has to prove it tonight. Let's take it to a more wholesome route, perhaps. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Let's not pretend like we don't know who won this award, right? And I'm sorry, I just noticed. Uh, my ass looks incredible. Uh, anyways. All try! I was born for this moment. That's all I can say. Let's go! I'm so wholesome! If you had to ask me what the opposite of wholesome is, I would just go the full 180. I would just say, who is the most evil? Has admitted willingly that she would eat Pichus. I think this is mainly due to Among Us, if I can be honest, who is a sociopath who still plays in public lobbies. And then we have Hacker, who does belong on this list. And if I didn't know better, feels a little bit misogynistic. All right, thank God we got the white boy this time. Our most evil in all of the Alvarez Friendship Awards, Hacker! I knew it. This microphone's a bit colder than when I handed it to her. But who is the biggest little bro in our entire crew? Don Collins? The quintessential little bro, as he's quite literally the youngest one in the entire room. But there is Joan, who has been little bro for so much longer. But little bro has grown up, I gotta admit. And then we've adopted a new little bro over the years, like CJ. He's our local little bro, but does he hold a candle to Sarah, who is on here because she sucks at Valorant? But this is one of the awards where we're just doing all the nominations just for show, because we know the littlest, the biggest littlest bro is Dot Colin. Yeah. And I kid you not, I had to give his dad the address to this place because he requested an itinerary for the weekend. All yours, little bro. Thank you. <laughs> a little speech from a little bro. Give it up for Colin! The thing about little bros is that they're so gullible. They're, it's so easy for them to fall for ruses. Like, I don't know, potentially getting your Discord hack. Bobby Wasabi could have. He almost fell for a hack from, it was one of those like hackers, you know, they ask you like, oh, would you try my game? And he said, yes. And we have Izzy, who may I remind you was a nominee for stupid motherfucker. And then we have Yaki, who won stupid motherfucker. <laughs> None other than a Bobby. I'd like to thank my dear friend Cade for letting me play test his new game. <laughs> Give it up for Bobby! Give it up for the short kings around the world. <laughs> okay, damn! <laughs> well, there goes my segue for the most smallest. Well, we got Adriana. I know she looks incredibly tiny in this picture, and that's because she is. She is five feet tall, and there is no punchline. But we have Ouija, who is six foot four, and that is the punchline. But objectively, the smallest we have is none other than Marnie the dog. <laughs> the winner of this is Marnie! who cannot be here on account of being a dog. I don't want to speak too much on Marnie's behalf, but I would like to say, though she is most smallest, she has had big impact. Thank you guys. We have some incredibly talented people in our server, most notably artists. Our first nominee tonight is Choopy, who ran an incredibly aggressive campaign and gave out free art to anyone who voted for her. But if you're a more casual viewer, you're probably more familiar with Rubber Ross, who exploits young artists daily on his YouTube channel. And we have Izzy, who famously on her stream draws softcore porn. Our final nominee in the artist category is Jaden, <laughs> who didn't draw that one. This one has to go to Choopy who unfortunately could not be here tonight because she is too busy with a backlog of drawing several instances of free art. D does anyone want to hold on to this? Okay, you got this? Give it up for Joe! Most likely to have their spouse die of 
Natural Causes. Give it up for Giwi, <coughs> featuring art I stole from Choopy. And as most of you know, Giwi is dating Ross, and if he were to be murdered, it would be very awkward for our friend group, to say the least. But if you know this couple like I do, you know that she would never get caught. Sarah, I can't read my own handwriting, sorry. What was the joke I had prepared? Um, always seems like she would kill for life insurance. I don't know, that could use a little more work. But then we got a Yaki! Who just needs therapy? The first person to be interrogated tonight is going to be the winner of Gaywe! I'd just like to say, uh, October 5th, 2024. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. And law enforcement. So in a completely unrelated category, let's see who in our peers got voted most likely to die first. Rubber Ross. <laughs> And Joe, who I got paid to make this joke, probably went the wrong way. You can boo, you can boo, that's fine. Yeah, okay. And Dave Cap, who is on here because he is 39 years old. And the most likely to die first, Ross! Hi guys, um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep this short. Um, I don't have much time. <laughs> first up, we have All Tribe, who insists that he is not a gossip. Which is what a gossip would say. And then Adriana, who has screenshotted every message any of you have ever sent to her. I am on here because every dealer needs a supplier. But I heard a little rumor from Giwi, who is probably not talking too loud nowadays. We all have a horse in this race and it, honestly, it's a sickness. So give it up for Adriana. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I really wanted to thank all of you for making my screenshots look so beautiful. This is an award for all of us. Thank you, bye bye. <laughs> And we are never trusting her with personal secrets again. Our next award is a little different from everything else we've had tonight. And this is perhaps the most controversial one. But why was it controversial, you might be asking? Well, for an award simply titled Fortnite, you can settle that one in game. So all of the nominees played against each other in a 1v1 first to 10 until there was one winner with a swift 10-0. Aaron Edmar! Oh my god, can we can we get a close-up on this shirt? <laughs> Creator code Aaron Mr in the item shop. Thank you. Aaron was a little nervous, funny enough, but again, that's 1,700 hours logged on Fortnite and a 10-0 as a resume. But Aaron, who would you put? I don't really have a transition. Most clickbaited. It's January. Like we've all used user in a thumbnail or two. Like, like sure, we have Eric here as a second vote. And uh, who do we have for the third? Um, oh, we have me. Because Ross has definitely drawn me in several different thumbnails. Who do we even have last? Joe Sniffy. <laughs> There's a lot of people who deserve this award. And by that, I mean there's one person who deserves this award. Give it up for Jaden! And we have all borrowed her in a thumbnail or two, or perhaps seven. Thank you, guys. I, 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 I genuinely think this is the biggest compliment, only, really. Um, I will continue to work hard so you can keep putting me in thumbnails. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guess who's in this thumbnail? I think it's funny because clickbait's changed a lot over the years. Now it's all about these massive personalities. But in the past, it used to be about red circles and give it up for boobs! Because now we got Yaki. I didn't want to be here. And Quay, who is allegedly running a sale. Uh, so I hear. And then Sarah, who posted thirst traps in the server on an hourly basis like a goddamn bot. <laughs> Last but not least, we got Serenite, whose ass is 30% of her body mass. The winner of the most unwanted attention after this video goes live is going to be Sarah Moon! If she lost this award, she would put on a jacket. No, you can't I didn't lose, so it's fine. Thank you so much, um, and the coat will not be going on, so... <laughs> Thirst trapping is truly an art. I think we can all agree on that. Because there's a thin line between a tease and a slut. <laughs> so first off for the biggest slut is Sarah Moon. And then we got Dad, who once told me a story that he doesn't want me to tell right now. And I think this award goes hand in hand with a few others. Like, I don't know, sloppiest drunk perhaps? <laughs> oh, this shit is embarrassing for y'all. All right, the last person we got up here is... All right, well, I didn't wear this suit for fun, so uh, let, I dodged the allegations of Sloppy is Strong, and can I do it again? No! <laughs> Thank you guys for <laughs> noticing me. I have noticed you noticing me, perhaps. <laughs> Hi, Izzy, fellow slut nominee. So I think this is a great time. Let's cut to an intermission. Hey!
Hey, uh, remember when I told you that the pageant got canceled? Well, Christina V is one of the most talented people I know, and she was gonna be a contestant in it. Unfortunately, before the event got canceled, she already bought a kick-ass dress and constructed an entire cover of Snake Eater. And hey, I didn't want to waste both of those performances, so... Yeah, to nobody's surprise, she absolutely killed it. And hey, maybe she'll put a full version online one day. Yeah, so she's great. Anyway, starting off with act two of the night, we got most gay. Because first up, we got Smith. No, I wrote my notes out of order. And we got Yaki. Oh, the, God, my jokes really don't land this. Okay, we're going to go forward, right? We'll go one more. Oh, shit. Yaki, who is threatened to kiss every girl and gay in this room. And then there's Izzy, who has. That's what I had. Okay. And now we got Smith. Okay. Okay. I find it interesting that we don't put Scooch on the board here. All right. And then we got Smith, who has blue hair and pronouns. And A little surprised we didn't use the Scooch picture again. And the... So we found the picture. Most gay is on three. One, two, three. Smith. Smith. All right, y'all. I kind of had a dream. And uh, it was to have me, a trans person, up here on the stage while basically most cis people out here, so can I get a trans right from all y'all? Trans That's what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, I didn't really have much of a speech, I just wanted to say, um, being gay isn't a choice, it's a game, and I'm winning. <laughs> Thank you, Smith, for the inspiring speech. I saw some of you homophobic motherfuckers sit up in your chairs for that one. So let's go for a more inclusive category with this friend group, like most straight. We have Jesus, who loves sports, beer, and grew up in bumfuck nowhere, Oklahoma. A man who needs no introduction, Rickles. And last but certainly not least, we have Ouija the God, who reveals stories that would get this video demonetized. Drum roll. And the winner, by one singular vote, Ouija! This is truly an honor, everybody. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. I didn't really have anything prepared because I wasn't sure that I was going to win. Rickles, you ran a fierce campaign. Round of applause for Rickles, please. Honestly, I called my dad and told him about this award show and told him that I was up for most straight. And he said, son, I'm proud of you. So dad, this one's for you, buddy. Thank you. That sounds like a dad from Kansas to me. We have most likely to lose the lottery by one singular number. Our first nominee is the king of catching strays, Captain Kid. Speaking of catching strays, can we go on to the next slide? You can prop put on and have the play. What did I say, Brandon? What did I say? <laughs> Bet you didn't think I'd find a way to put that in this video, huh? Now we got Joan, who is historically unlucky, won in Mario Party by doing nothing, and this was the best picture I could find of him. So I'm sorry for showing that clip because the unluckiest boy is Joan! Being unlucky sometimes may be seen as something not favorable, something you don't want to happen to you. But I like to think of it as a gift. I protect those around me. I'm like a sponge. I absorb the bad luck so that my loved ones, my friends, my family can be lucky, happy, and not unlucky. <laughs> Thank you. Who around us is the most likely to become a wanted fugitive? Anthpo, who has at least one Twitter account that role plays as a wanted criminal. Adriana, who is perhaps the pettiest person I know, and one day she will snap, believe me, mark my words. And then there's Hacker who again won most evil earlier tonight. And then Alltrive, who 
I yeah, that's how I feel. I have no idea how he got on there, but I do theory craft to like if he were to become a wanted fugitive, it would be by entirely on accident. The most likely to be convicted of a federal crime is Anthpo. You know, people kept asking me what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Let's go for something a little less controversial, like most likely to be a politician. Josh commissioned this painting of himself. <laughs> no, that is not a joke. And then there's Firus, who didn't really give me a good picture to work with. And then Sunday, who is more composed when it comes to speeches than Obama on Adderall. Tony! <laughs> I don't know why that one's in black and white. <laughs> this kind of looks like an in memoriam right now. Let's give it to our future president, Josh! Who, unfortunately, much like January 6th, his whereabouts are unknown and could not make it tonight. So, he recorded a speech ahead of time. My fellow countrymen, GG. <laughs> Give it up for Josh, everyone! The biggest drama queen and our entire server, Adriana. And then there is Dad, who said, and I quote, wanted to launch a dog into an active war zone because it was annoying him. Is that true or not? It was, a cat. it was a cat, I stand corrected. Who here has received a message from Adriana in the past week? That's pretty significant. Give it up for Adriana! Thank you guys for uh, tolerating me campaigning for four of these so that I can recreate the Taylor Swift photo. Thank you guys. <laughs> but the last three categories we have, the best Among Us player, the best pet, and the highly coveted best gamer. But first, we have a performance for you. Hey, sorry, it's me again. Uh, remember the pageant? Well, Antho was gonna be in it, so like Christina, I created a way in this show to demonstrate his talent. I got you! Yeah, so his performance involved copyrighted music and his mom, until she messed up and ultimately ruined his performance. Mom, you had one job. Thank you very much. Let's go, mom! All of us gather because of Among Us. So this award, is a big deal. Could it be Giwi? Level 100, and as I mentioned earlier, still plays public lobbies for fun. It is a genuine disease. Minecraft Matthew, who famously betrayed me and hit Among Us video, I trusted an imposter. Pikmin 4, yeah! who I think is the worst Among Us player I have ever seen, <laughs> but perhaps that's just part of his genius. Ouija the God but very, very loudly. But none of us could beat the stone wall that was Giwi. You can take it from me as a level 100 player. I was an electrical among us. I believe every word she said. And speaking of controversial bloodshed categories, let's give it up for best pet. That was like a, ooh, I want like a, ooh. First off, we have the conqueror known as Frazier, who is my little guy, but we have a dictator known as Marnie. We also have the biggest bastard of the bunch. We got Ari. And last, but certainly not least for our furry friends, we have Hackers Mika. Drum roll, please. It could be anyone, who knows? It is Frazier! This is a famous cat and you love and he loves you right back. So I'm gonna accept this on his behalf and uh, he was unable to write a speech because he is a cat. That brings us to the last category of the night. Perhaps the most competitive and definitely the most coveted. Who among us is the best gamer? Ooh, you're picking up. First up, we have documented Melee Pro Joe Sniffy, who is a recent and proud silver in Valorant. Gold, sorry. Dad, who multiple time world record holder, best Squirtle in PM, best Daisy in Mario Party, and my first friend without benefits. And then we have Ouija, the inventor of the famous Suck and Cuck. It's still funny. It's still funny. Jaden Animations. A parent of fan favorite, she has revolutionized Nuzlocke's conquered Mario Kaizo, burnt a pie faster than anyone would have ever believed imaginable. For the last category of the night, his name is 
or should I say, her name is Jaden Animation! Thank you guys so much. I didn't think that I would play weird ass video games on the internet and scream and be unhappy, but thank you, thank you so much. I, um, to the people who, who know, I've, I've been a gamer for a long time. I've, if you want to put the webkins photo up uh, in post, Jacob. You can't ask for production, no, that, that, that's my thing. I have owned more than 20 webkins in my life. And that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you so much. And that concludes the first ever Alpha Rat Friend Awards 2023. Thank you. We'll see you next year. Yeah.